Oh, he Radiant guessed wrong, but he's just gonna go for the rune. Top lane, now they go on the dark Darkseer. Middle surge, he's gonna throw out that wall. Support is TPing in. He's the Fiend's so holding Darkseer here. And SC, well, he may not have the ulti, but he's already looking to go in. Initiating onto Eternal Envy. The physical damage will be enough. One more attack. Misses him around the tree line. Eternal Envy trying to juke left and right. The Iron Shell's arriving too. He had time to get the magic wand off, but it's a blink in two sec, three seconds time with the scream. SC wants to walk for it. They'll send in the Darkseer illusion anyway. And there's your blink. Can't get the screen. Oh, he's getting, getting up with the spirit. Yeah. Nessie can't finish the job. Eternal Envy will be able to survive the tower giving the extra damage and Weeha bringing in the support DPS. He just got completely styled on right there. Well, he now comes back up. It looks like they feel confident enough. They see the Tusk here. It's Bounty Hunter. Getting some scouting information for the team. The nice blink crush from Ryu. Followed up by Winter's Curse. They want Garda. Can they get him? He's still got the Lotus Orb. Is he going to use it? Puts it on himself. The Warrior's Punch comes oh, the out. Rex. And... Public Rex. Rex Someone's going to get back in defense. Space created from Ryu. Who's got the TP? Where's your no TPs? No I don't see TP. any Lina. Shiki doesn't have one. No one's got a TP. Maneski get one lane. They could go mid. They could go throw. This could become a quick base race. What's the play, CDEC? The oh, throw is the call for Maneski. They're all in. No one's got a TP, Winter. We're going, going for the base no race here. And CDEC do not have the best lineup to damage this one down. Oh, They've got no, the blast. Fire are going to buy back. They can create space. Aggressive. Fire's a death oh slider. He wants to amplify this push. They're going for the towers. They're pushing too damn slow. Oh no, this is not looking good for CDC. Maneski going through the second team for Tau. Here comes the first TP. It's going to be the tough, but this is SF with a oh Desolator. Antimage there as well. Maneski are breaking through the base, and it looks like they won a game three. No one else can TP back. Jerocop has finally arrived, but the BKB SF, the Antimage will do it. Maneski! The Filipino Hope had forced the game three. He doesn't have Fiend's Grip available, and Weeha is in no position to fight this. And because of that, because of the flagging, the positioning, Nubi Y, now they go in for Roshan. They can't walk Maybe out of this pit, however. There's a dire Observe Ward on the cliffside, so they have to stay in the pit, but they just try and find the pickoff over on Misery first. Able to claim it. He'll buy his four-star recipe before death, but now you know there's no Nyx Assassin inside the pit. The Wyvern tanks the damage. Huskar, please doesn't get... No, he got bashed. He got bashed. He got bashed. Yeah, you know! He died to Roshan! Oh, God! You can see her coming from a mile away! Yo! Oh. This... <laughs> I, this guy's got to be tilted at this point. They're even going to oh. lose their Winter Wyvern for this one. Yeah, but they claimed the Bane at the same time. You the can't... Work. Got a solo kill on it, but... But you can't afford to lose this Aegis. Well, heck, will they? SCC still waiting here. His Sonic Wave's off cooldown. You've got MR coming in from killing it, but but you can't afford to lose this Aegis. Well, heck, will they? SCC still waiting here. His Sonic Wave's off cooldown. You've got MR coming in from behind. He can fissure in, catching out to the rock against the vision, so SC knows what he's up against. They know Eternal Envy doesn't have that ultimate either. Wait for it. The Spine Carapace is up from Jackie, and now the whole shot in! Aegis Balls in the hand of Quinny Bay with the Echo Slam! Carving apart Seeker! SC standing his ground! It's a double kill right now for the Clockwork! And SC no more! No more, please! The heart cannot take it! 22 to 10! What are you gonna get out of it? And you need some sort of rebuttal. Uh, Huska stunned up, poison stinged up, misery trying to be aggressive, but that's gonna blast doing so much damage. The raises from Weeha won't reach, but now with Wyvern Nightmare up, they have two more raises available. There's one, and there's the Dazzle Wave Heal doing a lot of work. But oh, the clockwork! Clock shot's in! The Fissure! The three man Fissure! They lock in two inside the clock! Pilot Eye down! And a triple kill for SC! And the clockwork will mop them up! Four heroes from Seeker and Lost for the price of a Wyvern! And just kill Shadow Fiend. Especially because SF just hit five, and Weeha's already six. So the mid, main, the mid lane here is really where the action's gonna happen. It's pretty insane how many uh, deny. We Han got in the beginning of this game with the uh, help of Puppy's harassment and then just some of the natural advantage very early on of the Queen of Pain over the SF. Yeah. He was able to establish a pretty good level lead over maybe, but again, Radiant Side SF with stacks coming out from the Wisp, maybe will very rapidly shoot up over the Queen of Pain as he cleared through the, the neutrals. But Puppy's going to come in with this smoke. He also has Misery behind him. If they can get a really successful gank, maybe he's already down to low HP and he's going to be 
caught by Misery, just burst it down real quickly, and that's gonna be your first blood. And MMY is also gonna be caught. The Sonic Wave goes out. They actually hit Siler in the process. Siler's gonna be in some trouble. Tries to go for the kill on Wee Hop, but he's already starting bottling up, and Siler knows he just has to try and escape this situation. But Misery, he's got his sprint ready to go, plus the boots will be able to catch up to Siler eventually. They're gonna commit for this kill even further. Siler desperate for some help from the rest of LGD, but doesn't seem to be getting it. No one is around. He's gonna pop the ultimate now to try and help give a little bit more distance. The Wiz comes in, helps heal him up a little bit more, but there's just too much damage. The rest of Eternal Empty oh, Highlight Eye coming in. Now DDC and MMY, they're gonna be the next target. Team Secret, they're not stopping anytime Radiant's soon. A good race comes out for maybe threatening some of these heroes, but it's still MMY gonna be dying to the Scorched Earth, and Eternal Envy wants DDC as well. The heal comes out for the Chen, keeping them perfectly healthy as they continue oh to sustain. God. Diving onto LGD, 0-5, to five, they can 0-6 to six as Baby's being body blocked beautifully by Puppy. LGD, oh they blocked just God. six minutes in. Already six deaths to Team Secret. The dive continues, man. That global heal just... Out. It's pretty good this game because mm -hmm. they are very physical based. Uh, Chaos Knight is mostly physical, Dazzle's physical, Shadow Fiend's a mix. I think it's a good idea. Relocate out, MMY saves just in time before Pilot Eye can get the uh, the disable. Are they actually going to fight around this? LGD are teeping in. ROTK is going to make the initiation here. Looks like they're going to bring the Chaos Knight Wiz back to fold here. Eternal Envy going to be the first one targeted. The Wiz actually comes alone by himself, but oh, jumps on off. ROTK. The ultimate comes out from AB, but it's still not enough to eliminate Eternal Envy. The Minus Armor is oh, taking him down, heals. but he's got the heals. And now, oh, it's Doom on maybe. He's never going to be able to get away from this. He's just trying to get some damage out, but even his death animation is not going to be enough to get a kill. Slardar, nice stop there from Misery, but LGD have already called it. They know this game is over. They were fighting for scraps. All all game long after that six man wipe in the middle lane. Oh, and it's on a rampage for Weeha. They know they need to find something. I mean, a, any pick off they can get, Jesse, but he is going to have that Grease to remove the silence. And oh, here we go. Shackle comes out first, though. You can't remove that, buddy, Jim. And the, the Death War is going to make work at that. There'll be a crush onto S4. So they did find a kill here, Alliance, bringing it to 317. So it's something. It's something. But Maneski, they're not happy. Their Jim is in Reeve Russell. They want to fight. S4 throws out the Shackle, gets it onto Raya. Lotus there as well. Can they kill the Slider? That's a big kill if they can, and they can. Slider's going to go down. This might be it for Alliance, but Cuckoo, he's finally turned up. He takes now on the Nature's Profit. Quite incredible. Let's get himself out, but this maybe is the thing. The cast from the Biostick from Ake. Cuckoo's gonna get held in place here. The Sonic Wave comes through, but it's gonna be a whiff raging potato. Sonic Wave is his own team. It's not a heal, it's a damaging spell, you fool. And now Huskar, he's still gonna be there. It doesn't matter though, they missed the Sonic Wave. It's still a clean up for Cuckoo. He's found himself a triple kill. Nuts should go down as well here in the pit. Jules will finish that one off. So Alliance, even though they find some kills, it's still not great. S4 is still alive with the focus fire onto Cuckoo. Bulldog coming back in with the Sprout. There's your all kick. Can they kill him? The toggle's there. Jules throws down the shallow grave. Now they'll turn. They'll look for Bulldog here in the pit. He's trying to turn and fight Cuckoo. S4, can he do it? Can he do it? I don't know if he can. He's trying his best here. Bless him, but the heels are there. Cuckoo with the arm and toggling. S4 goes down. It's a double kill for Cuckoo. This man's a monster. In play. Am I going to go on Ritsu? There's the Glimmer Cape. Still visible underneath the tower, but resistance. Now the cooldown's gonna go to work. Oh, Snowball protection beautiful. actually dodges Laguna Blade. Razor might be doomed up, but there's so much life in him. He'll tank through it all. So the Doom's on the sideline. The Wyvern has to embrace himself. The Mass Up wants to back off cooldown and a wonderful position in range of the tower, but more importantly, very close to that melee rack. That was sick from MSS. I'm not sure if he intended for it to dodge the Laguna like it did. It, just, it deals such damage after a quarter of a second, so you have a little interval. The last fight did almost no damage. Good like warding. This, good counter warding. And a good smoke from Maneski, and they're going to go towards Roche. Well, they saw that. I guess they saw them in the river killing wards, so it's pretty clear that they're in that area. Yeah, will they, they get there in time? They've got I think like they will. I mean, the seconds. damage isn't that great here on Eha. Yeah, not, not yeah. at all. Who will they go on, though? Oh, oh, oh. will they see Lanham? They see Lanham. That'd be a great oh, the crush! Yeah, gets old 11 as well. There's your cooldown. The Rock Trader with Mel Trader. Let the Tusport Snowball come down in time. Lanham will still fall. He's the first to go down. Tusk comes across it, but they should still be able to find him. They do double kill for Raging Potato. And now Ultra can just melt it. There's a Shallow Grave out just in time. But they've already lost two here on E Home. They're trying to turn it around he's here. They so brought dead. back here on the Tusk, but it's a triple kill for Raging Potato. And he's looking for more potentially. Old 11 and CTY just on the sidelines. There was the buyback here of this Tusk. Oh, Templar's gotta be careful. 
He's going to go in with the mail strike. And now, moving forward, oh that is a die back on the touch. It's an ultra kill. Oh my goodness, is he going to get more? There's an amplifier on CTY. He's chasing it down. He has got the dark pack, trying to escape here. They're holding on to the crush. Ryan's chasing it around here. We should be able to find it. CTY oh, with the juke. Juke. But he's juke straight into Raging Potato. Can he get himself the kill? There's the mail hit. Ice Blast by for CTY. We'll be able to bounce not away, but the slow is there for the trap. And there we go. One, two. It gets it. It's not going to be a rampage. A little bit too late there, but he might find more nonetheless. Now he turns to Wall Adam. There's a mail strike. Ryan's moving forward. He's got the blink available. And he's there we go, jump straight in with the crush. Another oh hero God. down on E home. What a fight for Maneski. Well, CTY. Oh, okay, yeah, fight. he's gonna go on the TA here. BKB, the de demon check his item. This is really deep here. Okay, he took a lot of damage. And though. there's a snowball that's gonna be even deeper, but the BKB's popped, they just turn on to old 11. <laughs> that was an incredibly deep Old's dive. And they're looking for more, straight onto the Viper. The Ice Blast is gonna be there, but it doesn't even matter. Aegis will be popped. And this was some real aggression from Ehome, and I think they're gonna get punished for it. Crush up to Lanham, CTY still trying to fight, but there's the cooldown, and it's gonna be huge for oh, Cuckoo. On to four, and he moves forward. There's two down on Ehome. You should make that three, because Lanham's gonna fall as well. CTY just trying to get himself the hell out of there. Dazzle graved himself and TP'd out. But in a moment, the damage. oh, double kill for oh IO. Oh my god, they're gonna do it. Oh. Obviously, got punished very hard in game one. I want that gym back. <laughs> oh, MMY is foraging, but that fail is gonna really hurt. Nice blast. <laughs> Go splash. Nice pick up there. Silo's gonna turn, tries to engage on the Ritsu. Needs a little backup. Where's that Templar assassin? The quad bolt committed. ROTK still has the echo ready. Blink's about to cool down. He wants to use it very badly. Look for the slam. Doesn't even need it. Maybe he's too busy. He's too fast. Just diving as deeper and deeper. Okay, that side blade kill. was disgusting. His positioning on attacking the ogre so it splashed into the ancient apparition. That is a sign of a truly great TA player. To jump on all sides of the TA, take away all the refraction, all of the mana. You might have a huge amount of damage on Ritsu, oh, but when you can crush the amplification, the no agent. Look at the snowball! He'll protect him for now. They'll move forward deeper into the pit. And where's that little Toldy gonna bounce out? They split the fight up into two different parts as bro. <laughs> Great at taking out the slaughter. So it's one for one trade off. There's so many implications out. And the enemy just wants to blink away. No longer wanting to be part of this fight. That is the most absurd kill I've seen all tournament, I think. He blinks into getting stuck with Amp next to the creep camp, and the Lich ulti bounces just enough times on his hero to get him killed off with refraction on cooldown. Man, Ritz has got to be so sad with that. It's a thousand gold to Lich. It could be worse, but still.